Hey, it's Chris. Maybe you noticed your favorite rides missing from the on-demand library. Let's talk about these Peloton on-demand purges in today's video. We first started working out with Peloton using our own equipment in September of 2017. And about a month or a month and a half later, we ended up buying a Peloton bike. It didn't take long for me to find my favorite instructor, Emma Lovewell, and my favorite by far Pick Me Up Feel Better ride, which was a September 22nd, 2017 low impact ride. Yeah, it's low impact, so it wasn't gonna kill me or maybe exhausted anything like that. This was just the ride when I needed to get up and moving on the weekend. So that ride has been gone for a while. It was part of the initial purge of classes whenever there were some issues with music rights that were being used in classes. You know, when it went away, I was hoping, I was like, work out the negotiations, bring the ride back. Well, it never came back. And I really haven't found something yet. And trust me, I've tried that really that I loved as much as that ride. There was something about the fact that I was new to the Peloton. My favorite instructor, Emma, was also pretty new to the Peloton. And my wife was new to the Peloton. And all that was new and fun and exciting. And I love going back to that class and doing it. Now, I know there's others that feel the same way. You know, I've looked on the Peloton, Reddit, Facebook, and anytime they do these purges, there's multiple complaints. Well, recently on August 13th, there was a whole nother purge of classes. Now everything before April 1st, 2019 is gone. 2019, that's not that long ago, over two years ago. So there was 338 cycling classes, which was 3.4% of the classes. There was 118 tread classes, which was 5.4%, and 124 strength classes, which was 4.5%, and 270 yoga classes, which was 7%. So look at all those classes that were removed. So I know there's probably one that you out there are missing. So these statistics are from PillowBuddy.com. Awesome blog, check it out. So why are they doing these purges? Well, there's nothing officially that's come out about it. When they had the music rights one, that was pretty obvious. We have music rights, we can't you know, play these songs in the on-demand you know, catalog. We don't have the rights to it, apparently. So they had to get rid of those, got it, but then the rights were you know, negotiated, so why the class has not come back? Another theory that I've heard kind of bouncing around there is the production quality in the older classes is not as good as it is in the current classes. I don't know if I really buy that. I mean, they were good enough then, and I would still do those classes. So I don't know if that's really the case. Now, there is one thing that they did change, and that's there have been some technical improvements and some new display information, the cadence and resistance. So obviously, whenever the instructor calls that, someone has to program that in so the bike knows you know, what the cadence and resistance are. When the back catalog, someone had to go back and program all those back catalogs as far back as they wanted to go. So what I would love to see is some type of archive button, something, you know, down there where we can click a button and we can get all these retro, vintage, whatever you want to call it, classes. And with the understanding that they're not going to be the same production quality and they're not going to have the same metrics, cadence resistance that we get from the new classes. Personally, I don't think that's going to happen, but a more likely scenario would be something kind of like what Netflix does with movies and TV shows. Give us some type of leaving soon section, ideally on the bike and tread, but at least on the output blog, or there needs to be somewhere that we can see which classes are leaving so we can at least get one more ride in. Now that's not really my favorite scenario because I want the class, I want to do my old classes, the ones I have bookmarked from years ago. I want an archive button so I can do my old classes, the ones I love, you know, go back and do some retro workouts from a few years ago. So what favorite rides of yours were purged? Let me know down in the comments below. If you feel the same way as me or you got something out of this, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And of course, if you wanna see more videos like this on the Peloton and other smart fitness gadgets and tech stuff, go ahead and hit subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in my next video.